as always, pick your brains because our viewers at home love to hear your thoughts. Now, we hear a lot of talk about bounce. Can you explain to the viewers what bounce is and how you use it to your advantage in what situations? Perhaps using the steady cam here to demonstrate. Sure. Um, okay, bounce literally um, when you rest your club on the ground. Now, I have um, very different bounces on all of my wedges. I've got four degrees of bounce on my lob wedge, so it sits very tight in my palm. Now, the more bounce you have, as I go to my 56, which has got 14 degrees of bounce, you'll see the leading edge of the club that sits off the ground a lot more. So therefore, the bounce of the club is the piece at the bottom that comes into contact with the ground. So I kind of stagger my bounce set up with my clubs. Uh, no real bounce with the lob wedge. And that's kind of what you want around links type golf courses. Very tight lies around the green. So when you're chipping, you don't want that bounce to, to hit the, the, the firm turf and actually for the club head to sort of bounce off the ground. Therefore, you hit the center of the ball and you kind of thin it over the back. So we all want to bring our club into impact with using the bounce in the right way. We don't want to use the leading edge and we don't want to add loft by tr most amateurs um, that start the game think they need to help the ball in the air. So as you go to help the ball in the air, what you're doing is you're actually using too much of the bounce and therefore that's how you thin it over the green. So trying to deliver your lob wedge into the turf. So what you want to do as you come into impact the delivery on the club wants to be where it's just giving the perfect amount of kind of forward strike but not too much if you go too much then obviously the leading edge digs in you're going to hit it you're going to hit it very heavy and as i said before amateurs like to kind of they want to help the ball up in the air that's dangerous as you come to lean back the bounce hits the ground first, you come up, you hit the center of the ball. So it's about delivery. How can I deliver the golf club where there's a tiny bit of where your hands are moving just in front of the ball, but you hold and maintain loft. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to maintain and manage my bounce through the impact and I'm not trying to I'm not thinking too much about it because I've done it an awful lot, but basically the, the, the bounce of the club is the one thing that gets it out of the bunker as well. So if you've got a bunker shot, adding more bounce using a 56. Or stop the club the from digging up, and allowed it to glide. It's, it stops the club digging into the sand and it actually helps you. So bounce is your friend and it's about how you learn so to use that bounce. See your local club pro, get him to teach you how to use the bounce and you'll improve your chipping. That was beautifully explained, I have to say. I'm so glad you did that and not me, because you did it better than I ever <laughs> would have done. Ian, thank you so much for coming along. We'll wish you luck this week. Maybe the, the win is finally going to come in the open. Darren won his 20th. This is your 20th. Let's go. Let's do it.